Although my main specialty is the production of seeds, it's what I master the best and what I dedicate most of my time and efforts to, I also get to grow some cacti from seeds. And I guess I know how to do that reasonably well. It's not that complicated. But lately, on social media, I keep seeing people who are growing my genetics with insanely fast growth. There are some really talented growers out there who are achieving spectacular results, often thanks to the technical know-how they've acquired growing cannabis or other plants. So I thought I could dedicate short videos to what some of these guys are achieving. Today we'll start with Reed from Portland, Oregon. He's got an Instagram account where you can see everything is growing. His Instagram handle appears on the screen now, as well as in the description of this video. All the plants you will see in this video are my own genetics. Here's Sir Daniela A1 times Titan. What a beauty, really. So not cheap. Now try to guess how long it took Reed to grow these. Well, he bought the seeds from me at the end of December 2021 and received them in January 22. These photos you are looking at were taken last month in March 23. That means it only took him one year and two months to turn seeds into these majestic plants. Wow. The rest of the varieties you will see in this video were photographed in February, which means they were a year and one month old when these photos were taken. For those of you who are growing my seeds but only have small seedlings at the moment, this video will give you an idea of how your plants will look in the future. What does it take to grow plants so fast? Well, for a start, Reed's plants do not know winter. They are grown all year round under LED grow lights. If you use grow lights, you can indeed grow them all year round and they will logically double the speed at which they grow, since they will grow 12 months a year instead of 6 months. And in case you're wondering, no, they don't need a winter. You can grow them all year without issue. That's pretty much what they are doing in the Canary Islands, where it's sunny and warm all year round. What these plants do need, however, is a rest at night. You cannot grow them 24 hours a day. To achieve such growth, it was also necessary to feed the plant quite heavily. If any of you have been growing cannabis hydroponically, you may be familiar with the products I'm about to mention. The secret of Reed's success is a fairly high dose of MaxiGro, which is an hydroponic fertilizer, plus other additives such as gypsum, Richard, which is a mix of beneficial soil microbes and bacteria, sold by a company called Real Growers. And lastly, kelp concentrate. Reed feeds his Trichocerus cacti with an EC of 3.7 to 3.8. EC, if you are not familiar with it, stands for electroconductivity, and by measuring it, you can tell how much food is in the water. Reed also makes sure that the pH of the nutrient solution is at 6.0, which according to him, the Trichocerus seem to thrive on. I don't personally measure the pH, but if you're aiming for the maximum amount of growth in the minimum amount of time, like Reed does, then all the factors have got to be tuned for peak performance, including the pH of the soil. He also has the LED lights turned up at 100% and slowly raises them as the plants start showing light stress. So, maximum light and maximum feeding seem to be his recipe for success. As you can tell, these growing techniques are fairly advanced. That's why I would not recommend them for beginners. Having already grown plants hydroponically would be of great help. Hydroponics, in case you don't know what that is, is when you grow plants in a dead medium that does not have any nutrients in it, such as cocoa fiber, and you deliver all the nutrients to the plants via water. If you don't have any experience in growing plants hydroponically, but you would like to try using such products anyway, I would recommend not doing that on all of your plants. You could grow most of them the conventional way, like explained in my tutorial videos, and then experiment more advanced techniques on the rest of your plants. Like this, if you fail with the more advanced techniques, you'll still have some plants growing the good old-fashioned way. After all, such massive growth can only be achieved through feeding the plant the absolute maximum it can take. And if you're playing with limits, it's easy to overdo it and harm the plant. Something else worth mentioning is that these hydroponic fertilizers are not organic. And for all you know, they may remain inside the tissues of the cactus. Not an issue if you don't consume them. But you might sell a plant to someone who intends to eat it. So it's something worth keeping in mind. I'm not saying that would definitely be dangerous. 
but there could well be. I have not looked into it. For that reason, personally, I don't think I would try any of those fertilizers unless I can be sure they are safe. However, there are other products among those that Reed uses that I feel more drawn to, such as the soil microbes. I'll probably look into those, as I would imagine they would help with growth and general good health. I have noticed that when I add some local soil from the wild to my soil mix, the cacti like it. I've always assumed this was due to the minerals that are in it, and while I still think this is true, I am now also thinking it could be partly due to the microbial life that is in that local soil. Another reason why I'm not dying to try these fertilizers is that if I'm in a hurry, I also have the option to graft the plants. After all, I have plenty of large cacti that I can use as stock. And I must say, grafting is something that I really enjoy doing. I plan to do many more grafts during this year's growing season. Having said that, I'm very glad people are growing my genetics at such a turbo pace, because it allows me to find out sooner what my crosses will look like. When you have a cross between two stains or two species, you only know what the mum and dad look like, and you gotta use your imagination to guess how the children will look. It will take years of growth before you can actually see what they will look like as adults. So of course, if anyone is able to double or triple the growth speed, that is very useful for me. Not just for me, but for all of you guys, it allows you to find out what macrosis will eventually look like. Now for comparison, I will show you some of the plants that I have grown from seeds without any fertilizer nor fancy tricks. I just used a mix of 50% regular potting soil, 25% perlite, and 25% earthworm castings. Of course, they take a lot longer to get there, sometimes three or four years or even more. They were grown outside under the sunlight, which means they rested during winter. And there's no doubt they could have grown a lot faster if I'd watered them more regularly. A key factor for growth is to water as soon as the soil is dry during the growing season. And I failed to do that. I typically water them once every few weeks when I should have watered them way more often. When it's really hot, it's not uncommon to have to water them twice a week, especially when they are in small pots like these, but I didn't do that. As you can see, even with neglect, they can grow well, but it will take much longer. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comment section, and I may show you advanced techniques from other growers in future videos. When I got into these plants, there wasn't anyone using such methods. But in the past few years, sacred cacti have been booming in popularity, and now you have loads of really talented growers, sometimes coming from the cannabis field and experimenting novel techniques on cacti with impressive results. Lastly, if you would like to grow the genetics shown in this video, as well as many other ones, please ask for my list of seeds mentioning your country. My email appears in the description of this video, but I will also make it appear on the screen now. I will email you back with prices, information, and photos. And for those of you who don't feel like starting them from seeds, I also sell seedlings grown from the same seeds. That's all for now, my friends. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon with another video.